Time has come, so we would now like to start the outline of the consolidated financial results for fiscal 2018 briefing. Let me introduce the presenters. Mitsaki Nishiyama, Senior Vice President and Executive Officer, CFO. Tomomi Kato, General Manager, Financial Strategy Division. Yasuo Hirano, Executive General Manager and Corporate Brand and Communications Division. So the outline will be explained, Minister Nishiyama. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for your attendance uh, today. Using the slides, I would like to make uh, the presentation. If you could uh, turn to page five, uh, slide number one dash uh, two. Uh, this is the profit and loss uh, highlight. Revenues. Uh, and FI 2018 uh, results 9.48 uh, trillion, uh, increase uh, of 1% year on year. Adjusted operating income 754.9 billion yen, uh, which is 8% in margin, an improvement of 0.4% improvement year on year. So the amount of adjusted operating income as well as uh, margin uh, have recorded uh, record high, a 40.3 billion increase year on year. EBIT, 513.9 billion. Uh, the suspension of Horizon uh, project impairment loss uh, thereof is included. So uh, 24. Point, uh, a 6 billion yen of negative impact and net income attributable to Hitachi 222.5 billion. Uh, that's a decline of uh, 140 billion. So, impairment loss from the Horizon project uh, is included 285 billion. Excluding that, uh, the amount is 512.2 billion. So excluding the horizon impact, uh, the uh, profit has increased. Uh, this is the last year of the medium term business plan and our target uh, was 8% and uh, we have attained that. And in terms of uh, the level of net income, because uh, there was a horizon uh, project, uh, the amount uh, was lower than the target but uh, the level was around uh, 400 billion and we have been able to exceed that. Next, a slide 1-3. Factors affecting changes in revenues and adjusted uh, operating income from a macroeconomic point of view. On the left-hand side, uh, revenues. Uh, the impact of uh, sale uh, of Hitachi Koksa Electric, uh, which is uh, negative 183 billion. Uh, foreign exchange uh, had negative impact of 47 billion. Excluding these, uh, there was a business scale expansion uh, impact, which is positive, uh, 342 billion. And on the right hand side, adjusted operating income, likewise, uh, there was impact uh, from a deconsolidation of Hitachi Koksa Electric. Uh, 23 billion, and there was also a forex uh, impact. Euro declined, and uh, emerging currencies uh, had changed uh, on the dollar side, uh, uh, plus uh, positive uh, impact, but uh, other currencies had negative impact. So, forex uh, impact of 8 billion. Excluding that, uh, profitability improvement uh, of uh, 71.3 billion was enjoyed. Uh, therefore, for this, 10% year on year, and the, the total uh, came to 754.9 billion. Now, uh, business scale expansion, the breakdown, uh, information, telecom, systems business, uh, uh, social infrastructure, industry, uh, Hitachi construction, railway, Hitachi high tech, uh, these contributed uh, to uh, the increase in revenues and adjusted operating income. The next slide is 1-4, FY18 revenues by market. On the far right, year-over-year uh, -year column shows that uh, Japan was 100% uh, flat year-on-year, -year, as opposed to that. Uh, outside Japan, increase of 2% year-on-year. 
as a result, uh, the ratio of uh, overseas uh, uh, sales uh, was 51%. By region, China posted 97%. ASEAN and India was 97% of the previous year. In China, our building systems grew as a business, but AMS, automotive systems, uh, saw a decline. And Hitachi Kokusai deconsolidation impact uh, uh, led to a 3% uh, decrease in uh, revenue for ASEAN and India. Hitachi construction machinery, systems and services, these grew, but uh, deconsolidation impact from Hitachi Kokusai, uh, they all contributed to 3% decline. North America increased by 2%. Hitachi construction machinery's business grew in the North American market in Europe, a 6% uh, increase year on year. A railway and uh, construction machinery grew. Moving on to the next page, slide 1-5. Uh, this is a summary of cash flows and balance sheets. At the very top, uh, total assets came to 9.626 uh, trillion, reduction of 480 billion. That's because of the suspension of the horizon impact and uh, impairment loss uh, thereof, as well as deconsolidation impact from Hitachi Kokusai. Now, CCC cash conversion cycle was uh, 69.3 days. 2018 medium term target. Uh, was 70 days. So it's an improvement of 0.4 days over the target uh, compared to the previous uh, term. And uh, we were able to achieve 69.3 days. ROA at the bottom of the table uh, was 3.3%. Our medium term uh, target was 5%. Uh, because the suspension of Horizon project uh, loss had to be incurred, uh, that uh, weighed high. If we exclude that, ROA would have been 6.2%. So uh, we were able to improve uh, efficiency on our use of assets. Now, summary uh, of consolidated statements of cash flows. Uh, uh, cash flows from operating uh, activities, uh, 610 billion. That's because of increase of inventory of uh, Hitachi construction machinery, and therefore, there was a decline in the first half, but uh, uh, cash flows from investing activities. Conversely, uh, because the proceeds are from sales of businesses in the automotive uh, business, uh, for example, Clarion. Clarion was transferred, and Agility Train uh, was also uh, sold, uh, or policy holding shares. Uh, they were continuously sold. So uh, these uh, asset transfers contributed to proceeds. Uh, it was uh, improvement of 300 billion, uh, achieving 162.8 billion, and free cash flow uh, was over 400 billion at 447.1 billion. A one dash uh, six. Uh, this is uh, revenue and operating income by business segment. First on information and telecom systems. Revenue uh, grew by 3% year on year. Alaxala Networks uh, uh, stock was uh, transferred. This was a negative factor, but uh, system integration business expanded, uh, contributing to 3% increase uh, in revenue year on year. System integration and IT platform and products uh, for both uh, profitability uh, was improved. So up uh, 36 billion in adjusted uh, operating income year on year. In line with that, EBIT, uh, because of adjusted operating income increase, uh, uh, plus uh, asset sales, uh, it was up uh, by 71.6 billion year on year. Next on social infrastructure and industrial systems, in this segment, uh, revenue increased by 7% year on year. Uh, this was uh, d due in part to revenue posting from overseas EPC project uh, and uh, increase in revenues of railway systems business for Europe uh, and uh, increase in revenues of industrial products business due to the acquisition of Salo Air. An adjusted operating income up by 35.7 billion year on year. 
That's due to increasing revenues of uh, railway systems uh, as well as industrial products uh, business. Now, in industry and distribution field, uh, the cost of risk for overseas EPC project uh, uh, was uh, posted in FI18. So the previous uh, uh, forecast, compared to the previous uh, forecast, uh, decline of 23.6 billion. Uh, uh, overseas EPC project in industry and distribution field uh, has uh, been uh, restructured uh, and realigned. And uh, we are no longer uh, taking orders uh, of such uh, projects uh, since uh, 2014. And uh, most of the projects remaining are uh, nearing uh, closure. And so uh, we are setting up a reserve uh, for potential uh, loss. EBIT, uh, negative 151.9 billion in social infrastructure and industrial systems. Uh, the large factor behind uh, this is because of suspension of UK nuclear power stations construction project Horizon. Uh, slide one dash seven, electronic systems and equipment. In this segment, uh, revenue was 88%, a major decline in revenue. Hitachi high tech uh, and healthcare business, uh, these saw increases uh, in revenues. However, a uh, negative impact from deconsolidation of Hitachi Coxa Electric uh, uh, did have an impact. And adjusted our operating income, there was increase uh, in revenues uh, at Hitachi High Technologies and healthcare business. Uh, but again, uh, the impact uh, from Hitachi Coxa Electric uh, uh, and thus uh, decline. Now, excluding deconsolidation of Hitachi Coxa Electric, uh, 105% revenues would have been 105% and 12.7 billion for adjusted operating income. Construction machinery, uh, sales increased mainly in North America and Asia Pacific. Uh, it was 108% uh, of the previous year. Uh, because of increase in revenues, adjusted operating uh, income, uh, adjusted operating income grew uh, by 23.2 billion year on year. Next, 1-8, uh, again by business uh, segment, high functional materials and components, uh, revenue increased by 3% year on year. Uh, both uh, Hitachi Chemical and Hitachi Metals had uh, m and and that led to increase in revenue. And sales uh, decrease of products for smartphone at uh, Hitachi Chemical as well, uh, which was a negative factor. And there was a plus a factor of increase of sales price linked to higher raw material prices at Hitachi Metal, and they all contributed to a 3% increase in revenue. Uh, in adjusted operating income, there was decrease in demand of materials uh, for FA, semiconductors, electronics products at uh, Hitachi Metals, and change uh, in product mix. And uh, there was increase in raw material prices at uh, Hitachi uh, Chemical, so decline of 21.8 billion year on year in adjusted operating income. And it was also a decline by 8 billion compared to the previous forecast. Now, automotive systems. In China and North America, there was a uh, sales uh, decrease. Uh, there was also sales decrease in Clarion, uh, therefore a uh, down 3% year on year uh, in line with that. Adjusted operating income saw a decline of 11.5 billion year on year. Now compared to the previous forecast, uh, we had a downward uh, revision for this uh, segment the last time, uh, 38 billion. Well, we have been able to stick to the number 38 billion, and uh, uh, this segment uh, is being improved. And EBIT has saw a major improvement uh, year on year, increase of 42.9 billion. Uh, we posted costs for structural reform, and there were gains uh, from the sales of Clarion and others. Therefore, increase of 42.9 billion year on year in EBIT was seen. 1-9. Uh, smart life and eco-friendly systems. Revenue. Uh, for revenue, there was a change of accounting to net basis revenue for a part of procured uh, products in Japan and decrease in sales services, mainly in the Middle Eastern market, and price reduction of home appliances, therefore a 10% decline year on year. 
And uh, because of that, adjusted operating income saw a decline of 2.6 billion year on year. Now, compared to the previous forecast, uh, we uh, took into consideration uh, the cost of uh, overseas uh, projects uh, for social infrastructure, and the market was very tough for high functional materials. For these segments, uh, there was deterioration from the previous forecast, uh, but other segments uh, saw an improvement uh, compared to the previous uh, forecast. Next page. 1 10. This is the progress of Lumada business. The revenues of Lumada business is 1 trillion 127 billion yen, and this is 12 percent increase year over year. For 2019, 1 trillion 170 billion yen, 4 percent increase year on year is expected. Profitability, as you can see here, oh, it's not mentioned here, but profit is improving steadily. And there are some examples we are announcing anew. The expansion of Lumada Solutions and Services, launch of Lumada Solution Hub to advance and facilitate introduction of Lumada Solutions. And we launched Hitachi Digital Solutions for Logistics, optimization service for logistics to create highly effective delivery plans and utilizing AI and IoT. Expansion of global co-creation business utilizing Lumada uh, to streamline the contractual procedure of real estate rental and lifeline for improving user convenience. We are co-creating with Sexy House and KDDI Corporation for new service creation through information sharing platform. And the other co-creation example is with Mitsubishi FJ Morgan Stanley Securities. We developed and delivered a common system that computerizes and automates multiple operations of retail division business. Next topics number two. One uh, big deal was the acquisition of JR Automation Technologies, a robotic system integrator in the U.S. And we constructed a digital platform that realizes the efficient maintenance of social infrastructure. So this uh, this is a, a water leakage detection system that identifies leakage from water pipes with high precision early to be launched. And this will contribute to our social infrastructure business and provided the transmission and distribution system using the high voltage direct current technology of ABB for Chubu Electric Power Company. Uh, this order for frequency converter was decided. And open innovation will be accelerated. So we established a new corporate venture capital unit. We originate a fund and we will invest in startups through this venture capital fund. Next is the direction and policy in fiscal 2019. But before that, let me summarize the uh, medium-term management plan. Three points. First, 2018 medium-term management plan. First is profitability. In 2018 medium-term management plan, we reviewed the business portfolio and withdrew from low profitability uh, business. So we did part restructure and project management was promoted to improve the profitability. And with that, uh, revenue went down, but profitability was secured. We were able to establish a full solid structure in risk management we decided to suspend Horizon project. And with that, we posted the impairment. And for overseas EPC project loss uh, provision was uh, secured. So we were able to move towards operating profit margin of 8%. And uh, the record high OPM was achieved for two years in a row. So we are now fully prepared to move to the next stage uh, for the medium-term management plan. And second is the asset efficiency. 
with the business portfolio review, we are selling the low profit asset and CCC is improving. And with that, we are reviewing and re improving the asset efficiency. CCC target is 70 days, but we improved to 69 days. And ROA, excluding the impact from suspension of Horizon, 6.2%. So we are seeing a steady improvement. And third is the foundation of the global business. Lumada business is steadily improving. Hitachi Ventura is established in North America, and Thai Lumada Center is established. And as I mentioned earlier, JR Automation uh, acquisition was decided, and ABB Power Grid acquisition uh, was decided. So the foundation for the global business were solidified. So these were the three main results from 2018 Medium Term Management Plan. Next. Slide 2-1, direction and policy uh, of fiscal year 2019. First is the target and direction of management. We want to improve customers' social value, environmental value, and economic value. We will realize sustainable society through social innovation business. Now, to improve the three values simultaneously, we focus on five sectors, mobility, smart life, industry, energy, and IT. Uh, we will have intensive investment in Lumada to accelerate the social innovation business in the five sectors. Our executive vice president will set the strategic goals for the five sectors and business unit CEOs will execute the strategy in order to accelerate the management speed. So we will transfer to such a management structure. We will also promote digital transformation utilizing Lumada to strengthen the management base. Now, based on this direction and policy, our policy of outlook for fiscal year 2019 is uh, that we aim for record high performance beyond fiscal year 2018, utilizing the foundation of profit structure built by continuous structural reform along with aggressive investment for growth. And along with that, we will review the disclosure segment focusing on five sectors. I will explain this later. CCC and ROA, uh, the asset efficiency were focus, uh, important indicator, but we will do this more and disclose the management indicator by stronger awareness of capital cost. We will disclose ROIC. So in addition to ROA, we will also have ROIC to be strongly aware of capital cost. So the outlook of fiscal year 2019, slide 2-2. Two two. Uh, first, revenues, 9 trillion yen, 5% down year over year. The factors will be explained later. And adjusted operating income, 765 billion, 8.5% margin. This is up 10 billion year over year. Operating margin was 8% in 2018, and 2019 will be 8.5%. 8 .5, 8 and third from the bottom, net income attributable to Hitachi Limited stockholders, 335, 435 billion. This is up 212.4 billion yen. And bottom, ROIC. 2018, ROIC was 8.5%. The forecast for fiscal year 2019 is 10.3%. Next, slide 2-3 shows the factors affecting changes in revenues and adjusted operating income. For revenue, the impact of reorganization, mainly the deconsolidation of Hoitachi Koksai Electric, 
and the uh, sales in automotive system. This is 207 billion downward pressure and foreign exchange factor is 113 billion down and others was 160.6 billion yen other than Hitachi chemicals in most sectors revenue is down which reflects the market situation or reflects the business cycle on the other hand the right side adjusted operating income the impact of reorganization is 6 billion yen and foreign exchange is negative 17 billion yen excluding those two with profitability improvement uh, we will have plus 93.1 billion uh, which uh, brings us to 825 billion yen in addition uh, in order to grow the Lumada business and social innovation business, we will invest for growth. So investment will be bigger than last year, 60 billion yen. So adding that, we will come to 765 billion yen, 8.5%. So this is the forecast for fiscal year 2019. Next, slide 2-4, please. New business segment will be set like this. IT, energy, industry, mobility, smart life. And the business units and businesses are listed here. High tech, Hitachi High Technologies, Hitachi Construction Machinery, Hitachi Metals, and Hitachi Chemical will be single segment. multiple listed subsidiaries will no longer be mixed with the BUs and this will be easier to understand and uh, this disclosure will be centering around the focus uh, for focus areas so let me talk about the uh, segment adjusted operating income in EBIT by business segment 2-5 so 8.5% uh, 765 billion yen adjusted operating income Lumada and in social innovation business growth investment 60 billion increase uh, will be allocated so we plan for higher profit in IT segment We maintain high profitability despite decrease in adjusted operating income temporarily due to strategic investment for expansion of digital solutions business. So 10.7%, we will exceed 10%. We maintain 10% margin. And energy, the transmission a substation is now transferred and so that is the revenue decline and uh, power generation solution a large uh, factor has led to the profit decline however the adjusted operating income ratio is 6.2 percent industry in the previous year Overseas EPC projection uh, provision was there, so 2.3% uh, in fiscal year 2018. Correcting that, it is 6.2%. So that is the actual level, excluding that factor. We will raise this to 7% due to the effective withdrawal from low profit business in industry distribution business unit, and we will continue focus on profit improvement and investment for growth aiming for 7% mobility rail and building decrease in revenues due to the impact of foreign exchange fluctuation and the completion of large-scale projects in the UK railway system BU but mainly in building profitability improvement due to cost reduction 
Adjusted operating income ratio will be 8.2%. Next, Smart Life. The businesses here were in the table earlier. Healthcare and Life Health, uh, GLS and Global Life Solutions and Automotive Systems Business and Smart Life and Eco-Friendly. So in Smart Life, Automotive Systems, uh, we had the effective structural reform in automotive system business, so decrease in revenue, but in all three businesses, the effect of the structural reform and cost reduction is seen. So we expect the increase in adjusted operating income. Next page, please. Uh, these are the listed subsidiaries, Hitachi High Technologies. Uh, revenue will be down. Uh, the commercial business, trading business, uh, the automotive and uh, uh, will be narrowed down and therefore decrease in revenue due to decline of automotive products and materials. Uh, but uh, decrease in adjusted operating income due to R&D expenditure for growth areas such as biotechnology, medical, and next generation. Next, Hitachi construction ma machinery. Uh, mining is strong, uh, but because of the currency, especially in the emerging markets, uh, the uh, decrease in revenues, uh, but increase in adjusted operating income due to the effect of business transformation. Hitachi Metals, yen dollar is 110 yen to a dollar, so we corrected to that. Hitachi Metals, decrease in revenues due to the business transfer of aluminum wheels business but increase in adjusted operating income due to profitability improvement. Hitachi Chemicals, uh, with the profitability improvement, 1.4 billion increase in profit. And the bottom, corporate items and eliminations, EBIT, is down. EBIT has the gain on sales of Hitachi Koksai Electric in the previous term. And so, because of the absence of that factor, the profit is down. So, overall, uh, there are many segments uh, which are expected to see declines in revenues, but uh, we're going to improve profitability. Uh, uh, we would like to continue to pursue cost uh, reduction uh, uh, while uh, securing investments for the future. So that is uh, the idea behind this uh, for the numbers planned. That concludes my presentation. Thank you. We would like to move on to questions and answers. Our staff will bring a microphone to you. Please state your name and affiliation before asking your questions. Any questions, please? I see a hand in the front. Thank you. Question. Uh, for the fiscal year ending uh, and uh, the year to start, uh, I have questions. First, uh, FI18, uh, asset efficiency, profitability, uh, global growth. Uh, uh, you mentioned uh, are these in some of these segments. But uh, what have been the challenges, uh, uh, the tasks uh, that you have not been able uh, to complete uh, this year or the year that has just ended? Uh, the tasks that were left uncompleted. Well, in terms of market products, uh, markets uh, have been tough. Uh, Hitachi Metal, Hitachi Chemical, uh, these products uh, related uh, uh, subsidiaries had their performance announcement uh, this week uh, in semiconductors and smartphones uh, business and FA business. In these materials related uh, businesses, uh, the market conditions uh, uh, continued uh, to be tough, and uh, we believe that these conditions will continue into the future. And China overall, uh, including construction machinery, China's market uh, continues to be severe. Uh, excluding construction machinery, our major business is elevators. Uh, the number of units sold uh, will increase. 
but the average uh, sales uh, price uh, is declining. Uh, that continues. So we'll have to cope with that uh, uh, through a cost reduction and increasing sales uh, in higher uh, priced uh, products. Uh, by so doing, increase uh, profitability. Uh, that's been our plan. Uh, so uh, bad market conditions uh, will linger uh, for products related uh, businesses. And tasks uh, left uh, uh, unattained, I don't I think there are many of them. We have been uh, steadily making efforts at project management for both IT and OT. We have had uh, solid project uh, management and uh, profitability from these uh, projects uh, has been improving markedly and uh, a major a risk uh, uh, in the past have been overseas EPC projects. Uh, we're nearing the end of EPC projects. We are revealing cost, and we had a provision of 30 billion uh, so that uh, we won't have to worry about uh, the future developments of these projects. And uh, uh, the treatment of uh, the suspension of the Horizon project, what needs to be impaired uh, has already been impaired. The impairment loss has already been incurred. So uh, in relation to projects, I don't think uh, there are any carryovers that we need to worry about. Uh, thank you. Another question about the outlook for uh, this fiscal year. You're going to make aggressive investments uh, into LUMADA. And uh, in line with that, uh, I wonder what's happening to IT. IT seems to be declining. So what kind of investments are you talking about? Answer, IT sector. Uh, is a major sector, uh, and other than that, uh, uh, there are different businesses uh, where uh, investment for growth uh, uh, will be made uh, for social infrastructure as well as uh, for other specific uh, businesses uh, uh, we have planned uh, for that. For IT specifically, Lumada Solution Core development needs to be accelerated of and in order to have uh, uh, even better solutions, we need uh, to conduct development. And we also need to strengthen the front business uh, for our global businesses. And uh, we need to allocate uh, cost and investment uh, for that uh, to the IT sector. And as far as Lumada is concerned, on a company-wide uh, basis, uh, we're trying to develop a common platform. It's not just restricted to the IT sector, but in other sectors as well so that LUMADA can be applied more easily and uh, solutions uh, to be developed, uh, applications to be developed, uh, shall be facilitated uh, by using the common platform. And so we're making investments in developing such a common platform. And with respect to digital human resources, digital talents, uh, they need to be developed and nurtured. So from a company-wide perspective, uh, we are going to make investments into these human resources as well. Thank you. Question. I have a question on the group reorganization. Hitachi Chemicals sales was in the media. So including Hitachi Chemicals reorganization, including what's covered in the media, I have a question. So that's my question. So could you elaborate on this point? Answer. For each business, uh, be it listed, subsidiary, be it wholly owned entity, we are taking measures to enhance the businesses. And we are always thinking of the strategy to do that in, in each business format. We are thinking of the optimal form, optimal formation to reinforce the businesses. And we also think of how, as a group, uh, Hitachi and Lumada and these entities can generate synergy. So including these formation, we are always thinking of strategies and measures. 
But what's been covered by the media, we only talk about what we decided on. So when we change our format, formation, and structure, we will announce from ourselves. So regarding the individual businesses or listed subsidiaries, I would like to refrain from making it comments. Question. China market remains difficult, you said. For fiscal year 2019, in the second half of fiscal year 2019, will it recover or could you give us more specific timeline? Answer. So difficult includes uh, the, the, the fact that there is unforeseeableness in the recovery. In the first quarter and first half, we think the difficult situation will continue. However, in China, automotive-related business in general Chinese government is trying to stabilize the automotive business. According to the information we hear, so we think this business will stabilize. Our automotive business in China, especially the electrification, motors and inverters are going under structural reform. And we are promoting the improvement in prof uh, uh, productivity. So we will aim for higher revenue and operating income. Regarding elevators, we think the trend is the same. So the average sale selling price will decline in China. So we have been taking measures since fiscal year 2018, cost reduction and uh, securing orders for high-end products and maintenance. This is how we plan to secure our profit, profitability. Any other questions? Question. Thank you for the presentation. There are three main questions. Uh, the first question is rather simple. About the Brexit, uh, UK's withdrawal from the EU, uh, there has been stagnation and impasse. Well, you have an outlook on FI19, and uh, I've been asking this many times, uh, but how are you going to manage the UK risk, I wonder? If there's potential risk, if you could please uh, share that with us as well. Answer. Regarding uh, Brexit, what is most concerning is uh, the impact on the overall economy and uh, business-specific uh, risk uh, is going to be limited uh, directly, I believe. So the vehicles, uh, cars uh, we supply to the UK, 70% of parts and components for that are uh, within the UK. We source p parts uh, within the UK, 70%. And uh, nuclear uh, power construction project is suspended. A Hitachi construction machinery does not have a factory in the UK. So overall, relatively speaking, we do not foresee a direct uh, risk uh, due to Brexit. Uh, parts and components uh, for vehicles, uh, because of the impact on the supply chain, they could be stalled potentially. And uh, we have an office in Brussels. Uh, we also have Hitachi Europe. Well, these uh, entities uh, are continuously uh, assessing uh, the potential risks. Uh, they're collecting information, and we would like to continue paying attention to in that regard. Thank you. Question number two. Uh, I have two questions with respect to the past three years. One regarding Lumada. Broadly speaking, uh, when you say in the IT business, uh, Hitachi's results in the last three years uh, from a global perspective, well, uh, 
IoT Lumada business. What is the level of competitiveness of your Lumada business uh, in the last uh, three years? Answer: Global competitors in IoT for us include Siemens, Siemens, and other global. Uh, competitors, top level global competitors. Compared to them, our global expansion uh, is behind. Our Lumada business has been steadily growing, but it's still uh, skewed uh, to Japan. A bulk of it is still in Japan. So we need to uh, set up a structure uh, to deliver Lumada uh, to overseas markets. That's important. Uh, for that, we have uh, Hitachi Vantara, Hitachi Consulting Systems. Uh, we are uh, uniting and integrating their businesses. Uh, Hitachi Vantara has had uh, transformation to become a solutions business. So we are organically strengthening uh, that business. And in each of the entities and offices, uh, top talents uh, have been recruited. Uh, having said so, there are still some missing parts. So in that regard, uh, uh, the decision of acquisition of JR Automation uh, is going to uh, contribute to filling the missing parts uh, for Lomada's global business. I think it's an important move. So where such M&A investments are necessary, we will conduct M&As. And uh, organic uh, Lumada solution uh, core development and uh, the stretch and the platform to quickly deliver that is necessary. And uh, uh, we are increasing uh, future investments uh, for growth of these, uh, as has been decided this time. So globally. Uh, organically, inorganically, on both fronts, uh, we would like to have the right structure so that we can pursue both. Thank you. Question number three, again, a simple question. In terms of revenues, uh, the ratio between Japan and overseas, in the past, uh, well, you have said that you've uh, been focusing on uh, overseas uh, revenue, but right now the split is uh, half and half. In the next uh, three years, uh, you, I think, uh, uh, will continue to have to increase overseas uh, revenue while securing profitability. That's going to be extremely crucial. So what's your outlook on that for the next three years? Answer. The idea is such that uh, we're not going to sacrifice uh, profitability uh, just to pursue revenue. That's been our policy. So rather than increasing revenue, uh, we have been focusing on increasing uh, profitability and income. That's been our uh, policy for the last three years. And uh, according to the original medium term uh, business plan, uh, the ratio uh, targeted was 55%. There are several factors behind that. Structurally speaking, Hitachi Koksai Electric, Hitachi Koki, they have high overseas ratios in their businesses, and they have uh, been sold, uh, so they're no longer part of the group. And another is uh, Forex, foreign exchange. And uh, for automotive systems, well, uh, some overseas uh, markets have shrunk. Uh, for these uh, uh, products, uh, they did not grow as much as we expected. Uh, and uh, we're now busy responding to uh, these uh, market conditions. And uh, so we've had to uh, reorganize these businesses. And as I said at the outset, uh, we're not going to expand our revenue at the expense of profitability. We're not going to just uh, pursue size uh, for the sake of uh, uh, increasing size at the expense of profitability in M&A. And there's a uh, uh, timing difference in M&A. So timing, uh, uh, profitability, uh, and market conditions, because of these factors, uh, uh, the number did not turn out to be what uh, was targeted. But it's not anything disappointing uh, for M&A, uh, ABB Power Grid and Jero 
automation, ABB Power Grid will uh, come on stream. So it will be 60% or so, uh, the ratio will be 60% or so uh, by 2021. We b still believe in the growth of overseas markets, so we'll continue initiatives uh, to strengthen our overseas business. Uh, it's already past time, so last question. Question. I have two questions. First is on revenue. You said you will focus on profit, but in 2018 medium term plans, revenue assumption, you did not reach the revenue target. So you will focus on profit, but uh, the revenue shows the company's growth. So why is revenue growth sluggish? Compared to the medium-term plan, you are right uh, because of the time lag of M&A and another factor is the business reorganization, especially the overseas sales. The companies with high overseas sales ratio, Hitachi, Koki, I think their ratio was 70% was sold and Hitachi, Kokusai Electric had relatively high overseas sales ratio. We cannot blame uh, the market situation on people. That is one factor. But as you correctly mentioned, revenue is an important factor for a company's growth. However, we should not sacrifice the profit and establish the solid foundation. And that will be done by Lumada, business expansion uh, through Lumada and resource expansion overseas and platform expansion and uh, multiplying it. So those will be our way forward. And for products division, we have strong businesses. We will focus on competitive, strong business and globalize them so that they can become global leaders we will take measures so that they can become global leaders. Thank you. Question. My second question is on profitability. Uh, so you had uh, the record high operating income for two years in a row. So you now have good, strong uh, profit generating capability. In Yokohama uh, Center, uh, you did some uh, right sizing of personnel uh, from full time to part time. If, if you do that, It seems that you're not making I enough effort uh, for the hiring uh, recruitment measures. This termination of staffs, are you doing this other than Yokohama Works? Answer. Let me respond to that question. So Yokohama Research Center, uh, the ones uh, that were terminated at the end of March, that is true, but this is what is not related to the financial performance, and so it is not illegal. We took legal measures. Uh, we are still under negotiation, so I would like to refrain from giving more details. And in other cases, we are following the legal procedure. So uh, there is no problem like you just alluded to. Question. So you are terminating staffs in other locations? Answer, I don't have the information at hand, so I would like to get back to you later. With that, we would like to uh, conclude the earnings meeting for today. And for the schedule going forward, right after the uh, Golden Holidays, May 10th, uh, Friday at uh, 4 p.m., uh, medium-term management uh, plan will be presented uh, by Higashara. And uh, Tuesday, June 4th, we're going to have Hitachi Day. We will uh, provide the details uh, later. Thank you once again for your attendance today.